Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be working on the base some more. Firstly, we are going to be going and getting a B, so that way we can go and get that added to our genetic library. And also so I can start producing honey. And then after that, we're going to come back, we're going to actually start bringing up the penguins. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the mantises, I actually might because I need them for uh, harvesting creatures. Or I might set back and just try and get some moss chops. But again, I do got my oil jug bugs here from No Untamables. That's going to be so I can set up the oil farm. I'm going to try and set up a silk farm here with some of the thorax spiders. Again, those are a mod as well. Just search it up on Arc thorax spider. And then, of course, Ovis is here for the mutton farm. But yeah, that's all I have planned for today is to go get a bee and then start setting up some more farms. So I already got everything I need for taming the bee on me. I already kind of prepped here. So what we need to do is search up queen, giant queen bee. Why is there only two? There's only two for some reason. Huh. We'll mark both of them just in case. Um, Let me hop bar some of the cryopods I have here on me. And Larry, you're going to come with us here. What I'm going to do here is to just save some time. Like, for me, because I do have a teleporter over there closer to him. I mean, I can quite literally just teleport over there to my uh, tree taps. Ooh, we can also see if there's any sap in there so we can load up Larry with some uh, ammo. And we're here. So, are there any bit of sap? Yes, there is. So, we're going to collect the sap here real quick. And then I will throw it on Larry here. I'll let him start converting it into his ammo. And then... We're going to go in and try and tame one of these queen bees. Now, again, I'm not looking for something special in the queen bee. We quite literally just need to get one so that way we can add it to our cloning system and all that. Oh, that is another thing I am kind of working on. I think I'm going to do that next episode. Uh, is the cloning chamber. My tech cloning chamber. I'm short on polymer and I think I need to go do the boss fight one more time. And I should have enough element for a good while. Okay, so we are here. We got the giant bee right there. I'm wondering if I should turn off the volumetric fog because it is flashing a bit, but I don't... I think we should be fine. So, ooh, that didn't hit. Okay. We chop all these guys up. You keep on firing up there. Uh, what did I name you? I forgot. Also, when did I hop off of you? I never realized I hopped off the, off of Larry. Okay, let's do this real quick. Larry, let's set your behavior to passive, okay? So you shouldn't attack anything. I already know Leo, or not Leo, Lion-O. Sorry, I keep on calling him Leo. His name's Lion-O. But I already know that lion -o there is uh, set to neutral. So if anything attacks me, he starts again. Yeah, see, he lights them up. Or he, like, one-shots them and then absorbs their fire. You know what I should do, just in case? Just so that way... Okay, it's one more shotgun blast. There we go. Right? Where did I miss? We're fine, we're fine. Ow. I think it started raining. Maybe I should have turned off the fog. Because now I'm starting to get a tiny bit of lag. Where's that queen bee? Did I break the hive? Yes, I did. She's in the tree, though. She's stuck. Huh. That's awesome. I think she's stuck in the tree. Yeah, I think that queen bee is stuck in the tree. Oh yeah, she is stuck. Um, maybe if I fly away, go to this one, we'll pop this one's nest. 
and then if this one breaks, I'll come back, check this one, see if it's come on, like, come free. Okay, so we got this one. This beehive looks better, but it also looks like it's slightly in the tree as well. So I'm wondering if, like, the hitboxes for the tree, the redwood trees here on the center are a little different. You wanna know what? All those bees look like they were getting stuck, too. Lionel, you mind? Thank you. Okay. One more. Boom. The bee, the queen bee is quite literally in the tree. Okay, that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's go run back and check on the other one. I feel like something's going on here, because these beehives are, like, stuck in the trees. And then when you pop them, the queen bee is still stuck. And I might turn off the volumetric fog, just because I don't want to worry about lag. I'm not going to lie, I turned off the fog and look at how much better it looks. I wonder if there's a way just to keep that permanently off. If there is, I will. Uh, but it's like the water. When it's in the water is the problem. Also, this queen bee is come free. So, we're going to do that, and then... Okay. I believe I have a high enough stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I believe we should be able to do this. He's flying away and up. Damn it. I hate it when this happens. Uh, last time we tamed a queen bee, I kind of just ran around on Larry like this. Okay. Uh, uh, got her. Perfect. Okay, we're done. That is technically all I needed. And I don't even need a cryopod for her. I can just, again, turn her into... Uh, you know what? Let's see if... If she pops free, we'll go for it. Also, Thilo. Got a Thilo on a tree. It's been a long time since I've actually got pounced on by a Thilo. I don't think I've had that happen yet in ASA. It's inside the tree, but it's free. Okay, we, I'm not going to worry about that bee. We got the one. Um, again, though, I got to save this one until I get a cloning chamber so I can add it to my genetic library because bees are not breedable. But I do like to have one on hand so that way I can, you know, copy it multiple times. Okay, so we're back at the base. We're going to pop Larry out. What did I just say? Pop Larry back out. We're going to throw the sap in him and also land him so that way he can... Uh, he can, uh, you know, stop flying. Also, somebody recommended Jiren as one of the names for the creatures here. For some reason, I wanted to give it to the Fasolo. Um, I'm still debating on it, though, so we're not going to settle on it just yet. But if any of, you other guy, any of you guys also agree on that, uh, just drop a comment. Let me know. Okay, so, again, these are my creatures I cloned. Or I have to clone. I need to still do it to the B, but what do I need for the cloning chamber again? I think it's polymer, metal, and black pearls, but I'm good on the black pearls. Because I just need to get them all gathered up and put in the right place. Search it. Clone. Sorry, I was trying not to burp into my mic. Alright, so I need polymer, I need metal, and I need black pearls, but I'm good on the black pearls. Because I know I got 200 over there in the fabricator. So what I'm going to do now is work on the polymer. So let's get these guys breeding up. And I'm going to get five eggs from you. Yeah. And then uh, technically I only need one, eggs, one egg from you guys. So I'm going to get you guys breeding up now and we'll just get you done with. Um, oil bugs. I need... What did I want to do with you? I think I decided on ten is what I was wanting, wanting to do. Just so that way I have a bunch of oil constantly producing. And then I'm going to hold off on getting you two and... Oh, do I just want to... Yeah, because I just need three and you guys take forever sometimes. So... And you know what? You're an insect. And all all the eggs go into the Ovis. Overraptor, not Ovis. Sorry. I got to remember the creature's names. So I'm just going to have you all going at once. Uh, as soon as you guys are done, you get cryoed up, then, yeah. I'll just 
keep going until I get the egg. Oh, technically I have to hatch the eggs to make sure. The only ones I don't have to worry about is the mantis. But yeah, anyways, I'll get back to you guys here once I got some eggs. Okay, so my mantis egg has dropped. We're gonna just go hot. We're gonna go just hatch this up right now. I can't even talk again today. But drop this, and now we'll just let you go. Three, two, one, and we got us a mantis. Nice. Any mutations on you by chance? Let's show buffs. I need to show ancestry. No mutations. But you will do. I'm going to have to. I just realized I didn't get in front of you. Damn. I'm going to have to hatch you up. Uh, or we're not hatch you up. We're going to have to craft you up a uh, pretty decent saddle. Right, I guess I don't have to go for a decent saddle on you. I just got to get you some good tools. So that way when you uh, club penguins and chop up Ovises, uh, you get some decent amount of resources out of them. And we also technically got our first Ovis, but somehow he's on the other side of the male from the female. I have no clue how we got over there. He, uh, he got launched. Okay, so we got five Thorax spider eggs now, and what we're going to go do is run those over, hatch them. I'm also going to grab the penguins, because I do only need five of them, but I also need, like, four, to, four of them to be female and only one male, just so that way I can get... Uh, a breeding system going and I can make a polymer farm so we'll just start with the thorax spiders technically I am gonna just keep all these guys unless there's a couple twins and we might have to thin the herd and which with thorax spiders I just realized um, they have a really really high chance of only being uh, triplets or twins yeah that's awesome I need five of you. So one, two, three, four, a five? Yeah. All right, you guys come here. Watch them all be male. I see half of them moving. Two of them moved. You know what? It still creeps me out seeing them move towards you as well. Oh, especially when they're small. Like, if you are an arachnophobe, like, look at that thing just approaching you. Like, ugh. Like, this one, like, imagine that as a shoulder pet, okay? No, hear me out. Imagine this as a shoulder pet. I mean, you could you could freak people out with it, all right? You throw that at people. Oh, that'd be, that'd be messed up. Imagine this as a shoulder pet, but, it, like, its ability is you throw it at people and it works like a bull and it, like, webs up their legs. That'd be... That's a little insane. Let's not let's not think about that anymore. Ooh, look, we got another one coming towards us. Okay, I'm gonna drop a couple penguins now, and hopefully we get some good ones out of these guys, or hopefully we get all that we need out of them. Um, I just turned around and realized I did not turn the thorax spiders off of following. That was uh, I was wondering what was it? What's walking up behind me? It was the thorax spiders. All right, you guys come over here. My mantis fully fully grew up while I was waiting for eggs, and I just now noticed. Okay, you guys chill right here. Also, passive. Ooh, penguins! I like right as I paused, I heard them. Okay, let's uh. Okay. Okay. Do I want to do that? I got an option, but it's a little pricey because it's going to cost 25 element to do. And that's where I swap the ones that didn't come up the way I want them. Something else. You know what? It's quite literally, yeah, that's what I have to do. I got one female and four males. It'd be the quickest thing and it it's, yeah. I don't care. It's 25 element. I literally just have to go walk them over there, let them grow up. And then hit the button, and I got it. I got it. Like, also looks weird when you have like four of them running at. Oh, are they? Are they stacked? These penguins be stacked. It's like three midgets in a trench coat. Did 
Did these guys die? Oh, no. I'm just stupid, and I have my HUD turned off and panicked. Okay, you guys are close enough. Uh, yeah, no, just don't die. That's your one goal in life now. Also, I did... Oh, no, don't. I did lose track of, like, wasn't paying attention to my Ovis, and now we are done. I did have, like, two extra ones, though, that we have to... This is a full-grown male. All right, that one got fully grown. I didn't even claim it, and it still tried to give me a soul for it. There we go. But yeah, now Ovis are done, penguins are done. Only thing I'm waiting on is jug bugs and thorax spiders are done. So yeah, the only thing I'm waiting on is jug bugs. So let's get the thorax spiders also cryopotted back up, put them back in storage along with the penguins, and then I think for tomorrow. We will, uh, that's when we'll go and build all the, like, buildings to store these guys in. And we will also work our best to get the cloning chamber up. So, um, how many eggs do you have? Okay, you can eat that one. You can eat this one. You can eat this one. You can eat this one. You have six eggs so far. I need four more. Another thing as well. I guess you guys can have this prime meat, mutton as well, and this raw meat. Surprised they didn't just start digging into that mutton. Can I put the rare flowers in here? I don't think I should. I think I should go and... Uh... Here's the thing. So, there was a seed mod for... I got a problem. I might have introduced a wild population of sheep to this island. Um, only one thing to do when you uh, introduce an invasive species... Uh, get rid of it. Hopefully that was the only one that I missed. But I guess there was another baby Ovis that just went running off. But yeah, I used to have this seed mod where I could craft rare, rare flower mushroom. Yeah, this stuff. I added it back. I removed it there for a little bit because it wasn't getting updated and it has a big problem. It doesn't... It just insta-produces a full stack. Okay? Like... No time, no nothing, no matter the settings. And I I don't know if I want to keep it, but I still want those things to be farmable because there used to be one back in ASE that was really good and that never had problems. Well, I guess it did have a couple problems every now and again, but again, it got updated. So I think I'm going to just throw all this stuff in here. Eh, I can't put that in there. Oh, you know what? Can you take the bug repellent? Yes, you can. I'll take this from you as well. Just notice a small problem I am having. I don't have a berry collector. I mean, I have Littlefoot, but I don't have, like, a true proper berry collector. You know? Like, I can do that there, and that gets me a bunch. But, as you can see... What does that H do? What does that mean? Oh, that's the weight reduction. Sorry, I thought that was the one that was like his inventory's beyond capacity. But yeah, this is this is all I have for gathering berries. I need something better like a trike. That might be something else we focus in on this week. It's just kind of getting the quality of life stuff out of the way. Like useful harvesting creatures added to the genetic library. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, berries are in this feeding trough. Ovises, are you eating now? Yes, you are. So you won't starve to death on me. Penguins, how about you? Are you starving? I think you guys are going to be fine. I think you eat meat. Also, what happened? Why are you guys all scattered? I, th I don't know. I think they were probably set to... Uh, was it passive flea instead of passive? But since how... Mostly what I'm waiting for now this episode is everything to grow up and the oil bugs to finish breeding. I'm going to just call it here. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, please do remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys are notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gun Shimari. Peace out.